everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for, for the day. For today's workout, I'm using a jump rope for a couple moves. If you don't have one, you can uh, do ropeless jumping or you can substitute high knees. The first three exercises and the last three exercises we're going to use as kind of a mini warm up so we're not going to go as hard as we can unless you've already done a nice thorough warm up, which you should always do before your workouts, but we're going to kind of incorporate a short, short warm up into our workout today. So I have my interval timer set. We are ready to go. We're gonna have 10 seconds of rest between exercises. Number one is jump rope. So if you've already warmed up, you can go hard. If you're not, you're gonna go lighter and let your heart rate gently come up. Okay, here we go. So during jump rope, you keep your core tight. Hands should be at a 90 degree angle at your sides. If that was my 10 seconds. Prep time, so we're going for 50 seconds now. I started a little early. Just trying to keep it moving. Okay, next we have in and out squats. So again, if you're warming up, do it more slowly. If you already warmed up, you can go for as many as you can get in. Legs close together, squat low. Legs wider apart, squat low. Butt reaches back on every one. Push through the heels to stand. Keep breathing, keep pushing the hips back, getting nice and low. Okay, next we have camel reach. So we're gonna get on our knees, back a little bit, core tight. We're gonna reach back and then bend the spine the other way, reach toward the toes. So arching our back one direction, and then the other. Focusing on moving one vertebrae at a time. And using the core for both parts of the movement. Okay, now we're going into toe touch plank. So we're gonna plank feet a little bit wider apart than normal, core tight. And we're gonna tap our toes. So now we're getting into the workout portion. So try and go for a nice pace. And just so you guys know, you really should aim for about a 10 minute warm up, minimum of five minutes before you start. So that was just a mini one. Opposite arm reaching. Okay, next we have um, tricep squatting leg lift, which I forgot I was gonna need a chair for. So we're gonna alternate a little bit and sit down. We're going to 
Bend our arms till our butt drops to the floor. Lift and lift. Bend all one side and then we'll do all the other side. So using that bend to lower. to lower. So if you're using a chair, you would just have your hands on a chair just like I am now, and you'll get a greater range of motion at the elbows as you lower your butt toward the floor. bow lift so we're going to lay on our stomachs and you could do this one of two ways you can either bend your feet bend your knees and just lift like this pushing the heels and the arms up or you can grab on and you can lift lower lift lower make sure you're breathing Try and get those knees off the floor. Keep moving. Okay, next we have <clears throat> ab lean pulse. So we're going to sit on our butts. <clears throat> Back is going to be very straight. Arms reach straight out. We're going to lean back as far as we can with a straight back and then gently pulse forward using all of those core muscles to keep the position. Trying to press the thighs down into the mat. on that straight back. Okay, next we have Superman. So we're going to lay down on our bellies again. Instead of bent legs this time, we're going to keep our knees straight and we're going to lift our knees and our chest lower. Lift and hold lower. pace if you're able to. Still doing a slight hold at the top. Next we're going to have three-way plank. So we're going to go onto our extended arms, core tight. We're going to do right leg first. So right leg reaches back. We're going to bring it 
across to our left elbow, back, center, back, same side elbow. That's the third part. So it's one, two, press back, three, and restart. Core tight the whole time. side. So catch your breath, get ready to go back into plank, left leg lifted this time. Here we go. Across, center, left. Keep breathing. Keep moving. There we go. Next we have Pendulum abs. I'm going to angle myself a little bit here. <clears throat> so for this one, you can keep your hands at your side or lift them. We're going to drop both feet left. Got to turn so I don't hit the wall. Pull them up through center, both right. I'm going to put my hands to the side for balance. Center. Try and keep both feet even when they reach. By that I mean don't do this. Try and keep them together. And really use that core to control going up and down. And breathe. Okay, next we have seated twist sit up. So we get to sit with our feet in front of us and we're going to reach open, look toward the thumb, center, left, center. Keep twisting to look toward the arm that's reaching behind you. And try and keep that core pulled in tight on each rep. straight back. Okay, next we have down dog, bent knee lift. So we're going to go into our down dog. We're going to go into our lift our right foot first. So plank, flat back, down dog. We're going to lift and bend that foot and then we're going to press that heel to the ceiling while dropping our lower heel toward the ground. Breathe. Press that bent knee, heel to the ceiling. Keep breathing. Okay, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So rest the arms for a minute. Left leg is going to bend this time. Left heel pressing toward the ceiling. Plank. 
flat back to down dog, left leg lifts, bend the foot and press. Drop the bottom heel toward the ground. Breathe. Press. Okay, now we're gonna do scissor abs. So we're gonna lay down on our mat, core tight. Arms are gonna lift or you can keep them at your side. We're going to scissor our legs up and down. You could go at your own pace. Try and draw that leg in toward your stomach. That engages the abs just a little bit more. Breathe. Good job. Next we have wide leg toe tap sit up. So we're going to put our feet more than hip distance apart. Lay down. We're going to reach to the right, twisting. So like we did in that twisted sit up, always reaching one side. Next we're going to do the other side. And look toward that back hand. Good job, guys. Okay, same thing on the other side. So you can rest here for a second. Get yourself comfortable on your mat. Right arm reaching, reaching to left foot this time. Keep breathing the whole time. Engage those core muscles, pull them in. Good job. Next we have jump rope. So we're going to repeat the first three exercises we did in reverse as a mini cool down. Again, your cool down should be between five to 10 minutes and it's meant to slow your heart rate down. So if you're done, slow it down. If you're going again, you can go a little bit harder and repeat the workout. Okay, next we're gonna have the in and out squats. Butt's gonna reach backwards. 
Nice low squats. Try and keep that chest lifted, but reaching back. breathing. Okay, and finally, camel reach. So on your knees, core tight, arms are going to reach, core pulls in, touch the knees. Try and really articulate the spine. Breathe. That's it. Good job, guys. So that is one round. You can be done here or you can choose to repeat the workout. As always, the breakdown will be on my blog, benderfitness.com, along with over 600 other free workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. So I hope to see you there. Click like if you liked the workout. Click subscribe if you like getting free workouts. See you guys next time.